So you're joining us in the quads today. Um, houses about 600 students. 77% um, of that is freshmen. And here we are, I guess this is the uh, central area yeah. outside. We've got bicycles going on right there. <laughs> I like the one with the, uh, the, the, basket the basket on the back too, especially. It's kind of a turquoise. And uh, we've got what, Fulbright yeah. Dining Hall, which is part of the quad complex as well. Um, let me ask you a question. Uh, you're a student here, right? I am. Yeah, what year are you? I am a junior, okay. but I could possibly graduate uh -huh. next summer, so it's all in there. So like, like a relationship status that's complicated? Yeah, it's complicated. Okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> all right. Well, um, let me go ahead and swing around so okay. we can take a look. And by the way, anyone who's joining us, feel free to ask questions as we go. We're happy to have you. Kent, you, you mentioned what this thing is called, this it's, nice it's a, little... It's a pergola. A pergola. It's a pergola. It's a pergola. Uh, built uh, to provide additional shade. Okay. I love it. I love it. And uh, the quad itself has four buildings. Um, is that right? Four buildings? Yeah. yeah. And we've got B over here that we're going to be going into. Yeah. And then behind us we have uh, Gatewood. And then we have um, the Harding. Is Harding. The, the, the right. right, right, and okay. Behind us there. Okay, fantastic. So they all come together to form Garland Commons, which you will be part of. And uh, yeah, let's <laughs> see. Um, I wanted to point out the Pat Walker Health Center is yes. right behind us as well. Pat Walker is behind us. It's really convenient to have kind of like a hospital type setting mm -hmm. on campus if you're ever in, a, in an emergency or something like that. Um, we're also really close to Small Mart, also convenient. Get your groceries and then just Have walk you been out. there before? I have. I love <laughs> Small Mart. It's, it's the best. Um, just grab and go type mm -hmm. environment. Um, and yeah, it, also I love the bookstore. Uh, great place to get your Razorback gear and everything like that for sure. game day. So. And you're no stranger to these tours, are you? No. You've done some. In <laughs> fact, that's how we discovered you and said, please do these tours for us. You had put several of them up on YouTube. Let's I go ahead have. and head inside and tell me about you doing those tours. Okay. How did that How did that come about? Um, so basically, a lot of people had, a freshman had uh -huh. been contacting me um, about, you know, they didn't really know. Oh, you got it? Uh, yeah, go. there we go. <laughs> they didn't know really <laughs> how the rooms looked and uh -huh. things like that. And I just kind of came up with the idea. I started with a room tour and then I was like, you know what? I could just do all the dorms, so or residence halls. Sorry. Sure. Um, and that's an awesome instinct. Uh, they are available <laughs> on YouTube to watch, and uh, we've linked to some of uh, your videos on our move-in site yes. as well. <laughs> so where are we now? We are in the common area uh -huh. in Quad B. Uh -huh. um, I used to come here Hello. with my friends. <laughs> uh huh. And uh, we like to do kind of ping pong and pool. Mm -hmm. turn, like tournaments out here is pretty fun. Um, so you've been here before and you've played what ping pong pool yes. both yes I have both. okay <laughs> it's a lot of fun actually sure so. and uh, what you got the pool table right there ping pong there excellent and then let's uh, let's step to our front desk for a second can we say hello to you <laughs> how are you I'm pretty good how are y'all just fine and what's your name my name is Jerry Gale Fortner Cruz and mm -hmm. I'm here to assist the students during the daytime if they need any help with uh, key issues or the mail or packages. Yeah. Oh, and that, that makes me think. Yeah. Yes. So this is this is the mail hub for a couple of different residence halls. Is that right? Yes. Okay. We have all the quads and then Futural and Holcomb. Okay. And we toured uh, Futural and Holcomb just yesterday, so you can look back in the archive and see the the videos so we did got there. Email you're expecting. You'll come here to pick it up. This will be the place to come. Mm -hmm. Great. Your great. mailboxes are right down the hall there. Well, let's go check them out. Thank all you right. very much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Move on down. Oh, there's that big row of mailboxes. <laughs> now, do like a Van White hand. Right, there you go. Mailboxes. <laughs> All the mailboxes, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, did you, uh, you lived where again? I lived in Maple. Okay. And, um, so that's a different mail system. It's, yeah, it's a little yeah. bit different, but um, it's super convenient just to kind of walk to the quads. It's very central location, mm -hmm. so um, it's never too busy, which is a great thing. Um, and yeah, you just pick up the packages, your mail, everything you need right here. Delivered. Delivered yeah, there. Delivered. <laughs> yes. So we're walking down the main kind of hallway in B. And there are these little sort of, I guess, uh, areas that sort of jut out. 
I'm sure there's a, probably an architectural technical term for them, but they're kind of nice places. I'd say a lot of people end up using these spaces to meet up before they go to the dining hall or go to the classes. A lot of people even kind of study out here. You'll see people on their laptops and mm -hmm. just kind of hanging out with each other. And it's a very community kind of vibe down here. You well. bet. I think on our right, we're about to get to, I think the only sort of printing lab that's operated in a residence hall. It's pretty big. It's it'll, a pretty big it'll one. It'll become your best friend, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're running late or uh, for an assignment, you just kind of run in here, print it off, and go to class. Uh, I know a lot of people that did that. A lot of late night studying in here as well. So, yeah. It's... So, printing stuff out, but also a study area as well. Yes. Okay. During finals, I would imagine, especially. Ooh, it's, yeah, it's pretty crazy in there. Um, so we're about to go past <laughs> the um, Fulbright uh, Dining Hall, which is under construction, as we can see here. I do have to say, mm -hmm. I was friends with actually a lot of the staff here. Best sandwiches ever. <laughs> Best place just to kind of get food. It's my favorite place to eat, or one of my favorite places to mm -hmm. eat. Um, yeah, everyone's so friendly. Uh, I met some of my first friends actually in here. So, really? Yeah. What table? Where's your table? Uh, oh goodness, or we used it? to sit kind of like, <laughs> no, honestly, okay, we used tell to sit me, like, show by me. the fireplace. You sat by the fireplace? Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, we like the fireplace and anywhere near the windows. Oh yeah, the fire, yeah, you're right. And in the winter, <laughs> they do fire up the fireplace. Yes, it's nice. Yeah. Um, what is a, do you have a favorite dish from, uh, um, this you said the sandwiches, yes, I, but which I are made to order, I guess? They are, and they can. They also do burgers for you. It's mm -hmm. kind of just whatever you want, make your own creations. Um, same with, they kind of had uh, this like Asian infused uh, food area. You can just come make your own bowl and do it right in front of you. The flames and everything. I, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> We're doing a, a, a talk on just campus dining alone at 2 yes. p.m. Yes. this afternoon. So, and you're going to be joining us as well as some people from Chartwell. So we look forward to doing that. Know that the construction is happening here. It will be all done and ready to go by the time you arrive in August. Yes. Uh, was there anything else we wanted to point out in this yeah, area? The, yeah. Our music room is over here. Okay. Uh, Let's go in there. People on the piano. Sure. <laughs> do you play piano? I do not, but I have a friend who does, and he really? loved coming in here. So um, beyond the chopsticks level of pianos? Uh, <laughs> yes. Can play real special. songs? Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got what? We'll cover songs on the piano and everything. Oh, nice. So yeah, and. You'd think kind of it was a little bit more of a closed off room, but a lot of people like to come in here, so you it's kind bet. of homemade. So. There's, there's, there's Bobby D right there, Bob Dylan, <laughs> and uh, the King, and then yes. who, is, who is this? I, uh, come I on, actually don't let's know. see. We can identify him. I'm not <laughs> sure, but he's got a cool jacket on in the back. Yeah. Okay, so here's the music room. Again, I'll, I'll reiterate, if you'd like to ask any questions, feel free to. This is a actual drum kit or is it a, yeah, I think it may be an actual drum kit. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. Well, let's uh, head on. Okay. So we're still exploring the first floor of Quad B, which is the main building. <laughs> is there anything else back here we want to look at? I can't remember. Oh, mentioning the study room. Is that right? Uh, or meeting room? It's a little meeting room. Mm -hmm. Just off. Can we go in? No, no, I think we've locked it, but it is a nice little meeting room mm -hmm. where people can get together and meet and talk about things. <laughs> you bet. Okay. Well, great. Well, I guess we need to head up to, uh, to the third floor. Um, Ashley asks, uh, this is where the football players live, correct? I know that they used to live here. They live? predominantly in C and D, I believe, because mm. they have like special beds because they're taller and things mm -hmm. like that. So, um, yeah, they, yeah. they live in the quads. <laughs> there are a lot of athletes who do live in the quads. Yes, actually. Look at you walking backwards for us. Thank I know. you. I'm doing my best. Very, very nice of you. <laughs> Did you tell us what your major was? Uh, my major is political science uh -huh. and legal studies. Legal, oh, I think I may know where you may be going then. Where? Uh, law yes. school, maybe? Yes. Are you thinking about law school? That's the plan. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Don't ask me what, you know, if it's criminal or things like that, because uh -huh. I'm still figuring that out. But, sure, uh, sure. You know, just kind of, I 
coming all together. <laughs> we want to be involved with the law in some way. Yes. Right. And where are you from originally? Um, I'm from St. Louis, actually. Okay. Uh, I love it there. It's different vibe. You know, mm -hmm. coming to Fayetteville is a little bit more relaxed, but I love it. So. Yeah. Yeah. How did you make it home over the summer? I did actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did. It was really fun. Hey, our pleasure, Ashley. Glad we could. Uh, Answer your question, and yes, we pick Suey. Absolutely. <laughs> Glad he's coming. All right, so we're headed down. Where are we going? We are going to look at some quiet study areas and. Yeah. Quiet study areas. You uh, can turn laundry. around. I'm not going to make you walk down the hall. <laughs> and, and the uh, laundry. Okay, great. Yes. Quiet study areas and the laundry. Now, I think one of the things that I observe as I walk down these long hallways are you know, these are not traditional style residence halls. They're not community style. They are suite style. Yeah. So what that means is that you're going to uh, have a bedroom, I'm sorry, a, uh, a bathroom in the room itself. Okay, so here we are in one of the community rooms, right? Yes, um, also a great place to study for exams and things like that. You'll also see uh, a few people who might have studied in the Let's get a little view out there. I think we can see Garland parking deck, which has some nice architectural detail, I think. And this is Garland Road right here. Or Garland yes, Avenue, I think. There's a, there's, a, there's a golf cart driving by. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. So there's one of these on each floor. All right. Or... Uh, yes, well, uh, there's yeah. a room like this on each floor. Okay, yes. great. All right. Well, what should we go check out next? The, um, we can, uh, take a look at the laundry. Let's go take a look at the laundry. Yeah. All right. And the laundry is down here mm -hmm. to the left. Okay. So this is a pretty big residence hall. I mean, there's lots of walking. A lot of walking. <laughs> There is an elevator, of course, so you've yes. got that option if you wish. Also stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Get your cardio in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Fitbit on? I don't. No. <laughs> Get that 10,000, right? <laughs> hey, have you been playing Pokemon Go at all? I haven't. My brother and sister on vacation. It's all really? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here we are at the laundry. Yes. And you can see all kinds of new laundry equipment in there. Mm -hmm. We just uh, changed who we get our laundry from to uh, a new company and they put in new stuff. And uh, you'll see a lot of white here. That's because we're uh, doing our linens before you guys arrive. Um, and uh, let me see. Oh well, yeah, let me tell you about uh, Laundry Alert. Do you know about Laundry Alert? I do, but I've never used okay. the service. Well, it's brand new. So we're just rolling it out. Yes. And uh, basically what it is is you can go online and you can see which one of these machines is open. So before you come even down here to go check, you can check online. Then once you put your laundry in there, you can create a notification that will text you or email you whenever it's done. So it'll say, hey, come get your laundry. That's awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward <laughs> to rolling that out. We think it'll be useful. And you'll notice that none of these have coin exchanges. That's because it's paid for with your room rates. So yes. there's no charge. I gotta check out this cool view. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is really nice. And this is, um, we're on the side of where we came in, I think, here. Yeah, okay. Well, great. Let's uh, move on. I think we're gonna go check out um, a bathroom and the rooms. Yes. You can go right down the stairs here. Now, um, the uh, quad also offers kitchens, of course, community kitchen, or community kitchens where you can cook your own food. I'm going to put a photo of the kitchen on uh, the Facebook thread after this is over. Just because of the way this place is laid out, it would take a long time for us to get to all those locations. Well, we're gonna go check out the bathroom first. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. We should mention one of the interesting aspects of the quad. It's kind of unique too, is that we have 
a uh, faculty and residence program where we actually have a professor who lives on the facility. Yes? Well, we're going to just go to the restroom first. Go to the, it's right down here. Sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, love it. Oh, and this is maybe the, this is the kitchen area. Yeah. yeah. This is a kitchen area. Okay. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Ice machine, vending machine. Let me point that out real quick to yeah. folks. Here's an ice machine and a vending machine here on the floor. All right, we really are getting some walking done today, aren't we? We are. <laughs> it's also very quiet here. It I is, it is. You will notice it's very yeah. quiet here. Where is the, the rest of the bathroom here? Oh, okay. okay. So you have the elevator here? Yeah, okay. There's the elevator to take you down, back down to the first floor. Yeah, the bathroom. Uh -huh. Oh, and I know why that's the case because the bathrooms are in the rooms. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more of a public bathroom. Yes. See, well, that was, that's on me. Yeah. <laughs> the bathrooms are actually in the room, of course. That's what you're trying to tell me. Yes. Right. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. So uh, you are. You know, starting again in August. Yes. Do you have any classes you're especially excited about? Um, I think I'm most excited about. Um, I think I'm excited about environmental law. Environmental only law. Only because um, I don't really know much about the regulations and things like that. Gotcha. But, uh, I'm excited to learn about it. Yeah. <laughs> now, do you? Um, have an interest in environmentalism, sustainability, those sort of issues? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. I also kind of talked to um, an environmental lawyer and she kind of told me the ins and outs and it sounded very interesting to me. So <laughs> nice. I'm going to check it out this okay, year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're going to only check out one half of this place because the other one is occupied. Get it here in a second. <laughs> so you said you spent a little time in Little Rock, is that right? Yes, I was born there actually, oh. and um, a lot of my dad's side of the family lives there too. So I get to visit every now and then. Okay. It's Got it. Hey, we're in. All right. We're in the room. Thank you, Kent, for helping us out to get in there. No, not at all. We're good. And then we were going to show. So, can you tell us some aspects of these rooms? I guess there's beds for four. Yes. Um, so, basically, they all come kind of identical on each side. You will start by obviously walking into this kind of common area. Mm -hmm. You can decorate it how you want, bring in any, any extra amenities that you want, mm -hmm. as well as uh, once you kind of turn and go down this way, you have your own bathroom, you have two separate closets that can lock on their own, kind of it's connected to your key mm -hmm. only. So if you have anything that you want to keep safe in there, obviously use that closet. Um, there's also another separate closet in your bedroom. Yeah. Um, we'll walk through. Yeah. Because um, there's four people who would live in this one. Yes. We're going to show you one half of the wing. Yeah. The other half is just exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and head on in to the, uh, this would be the residential area outside of the common area of the yeah. suite. Okay. 
So two people would share this bathroom here. Mm -hmm. um, and it just comes with like tub, shower. Yeah. So this is what two people would share. Yes. As well as this sort of sink Sinky. area. <laughs> two sinks. You should grow your own sink. That's, That's kind of nice. Great. And then we can come in here. Yeah. I want to show off this uh, closet real quick oh, too. Closets. So you've got these closets in the um, in the bedroom area. You got plenty of space up there. Yes. Down here. Up there, and then there's one right next to it that your, I guess, your suite mate would share. And it's basically the same thing. And this does lock, right? Yes. This locks. So you have the ability to kind of lock it right there. And it locks with your room key, so it's unique. Okay. Yes. Great, well, we'll follow you into one of the rooms. Okay. <laughs> so this is your private sanctum. This yes. is your spot. You can do what you want, decorate how you want, you know. Um, it's really nice to have your own space, mm -hmm. um, and you know, you can do whatever you want with the bed. You can lift it up. You can move things around. It's just very convenient, and you know your own space. Yeah, uh, you always have your own space to go to. So. Now at the Maples, did you um, did you share? How did what was your configuration? Yes, um, I I had a roommate and two suite mates. Mm -hmm. um, and then we all shared a bathroom, common area. Then there was a sink on the outside. And that's kind of how it was set up. So um, obviously it's nice to kind of have your own space to come to. Um, but yeah, it initially it's kind of like your roommate or whoever is your mm -hmm. first friend too. So Sure, you um, bet. So uh, do you mind turning on the light for us? I can. Great. Maybe. <laughs> there it comes on. Let's yeah. go ahead and open the closet for folks so they can okay. see what, what kind of space you have for closets. Put your clothes up here. Mm -hmm. you know, put shoes down here. Um, we also have drawer space underneath here. Mm -hmm. Your clothes or anything like that. Nice. And there is a little, like a little bar in there that you can use to attach your clothes. And then in the desk area, you have a number of different uh, drawers right yes, there. Different sizes as well. This one's like a bigger size. Yeah, you can do. Yeah, filing yeah. cabinet even if you want. These guys are huge. You might open those yeah, up for me. I can do that. Lots of space here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, drawer space is great. And you know, that's one thing it's not lacking is space, obviously. Right, right. You have There's lots plenty of space, space here. To put your things, so. Perfect. Well, um, any now, questions? Go ahead. To, to loft these beds. Mm -hmm. these, these beds are loftable, but because of the size, mm -hmm. you need to fill out a maintenance request mm -hmm. okay. to fix that system to get these lofted. Okay, so as Kent was saying, if you want to use these beds lofted, which means to take them basically double the height of these, mm -hmm. then you need to turn in a maintenance request. Yes. You can do that by going to the uh, uh, housing homepage, housing.uart.edu, and then finding the fix it maintenance request on the left hand sidebar. Uh, click on that and you can fill out that form and ask for it. The important thing is that you tell them what, what room and what bed you have and they can do it. Um, anybody have any questions for us as we're going through here? I know a lot of people have been asking for dimensions and the other uh, talks that we've done, and we'd love to get those answered for you if you have any questions. So, Markayla asks a question, are the dressers attached to the desk? They are not. So, mm -hmm. a lot of people actually, what they'll do is they'll lift their bed up as high as they can without lofting it, and they'll put this underneath it or this underneath it, and it creates a little bit more room. For you as well. Um, that's actually. Uh, I'll get you out of the light. You're kind oh, of yeah. back way here. Okay, there we go. So I, I had a lot of friends who did that actually, so that they could have leg room and things like that under yeah. the desk. So this whole desk won't fit underneath. Oh no, maybe maybe actually there's an attachment here <laughs> right there. So maybe they do loft like that. Who knows? They can. Yeah. Um, no. Um, go ahead. Oh no, I was just saying, they can. Um, but yeah, they're all detachable. Nothing mm -hmm. is, you know. <laughs> you nothing you don't have to keep it how it comes gotcha freedom to do what you will Jacob uh, asks a question too and asks about are there publicly accessible supplies for cleaning the rooms and bathrooms or are we expected to provide for ourselves you are expected to provide for yourself I believe mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. Uh, there are I, times of the year, like move out, I believe, mm -hmm. we provide some, some cleaning supplies, but in general, isn't that yeah. right, Kat? Yeah, they come through. Um, Before you move in, it should be, they should have already come Yeah, they'll through. be clean when you mm -hmm. move in. Mm -hmm. And then during one of the breaks, either winter or spring break, they'll come through yes. and clean all the bathrooms. Yes. Um, in all the buildings that have suites. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, that's right. The, the kind of the blitz of cleaning. Right, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They come in, they do a real quick clean of everything. So, but in general, otherwise, yes, you'll want to, you know, keep some, what'd you keep for that's cleaning you. supplies? I kept, I believe it was like some 409, I think mm -hmm. that's what it's called. Formula 409. 409, kind yes. of just all-purpose cleaner. Um, I had some wet wipes as well, just for like counters and, uh, you know, Area. Oh, they come in like the cylinder and yes. you open it up and you pull them out. Yeah, yes. okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, pretty much just kind of those supplies, paper towels, mm -hmm. things like that. Just um, Obviously, I had actually a toilet cleaner. We all kind of came together and decided who was bringing what for our gotcha. dorm. So, uh, yeah, so we had toilet cleaner, everything. Um, so basic bathroom cleaning supplies. Yes. Big yes. Nothing major. <laughs> right. Um, Heather asks... Is there a common refrigerator, or are those students allowed to have a refrigerator in their rooms? So the answer is yes, they are allowed to have a refrigerator in their yes. own rooms. In fact, on the move-in website on what to bring, you'll find a little area that says, you know, refrigerators, and there's a place you can rent refrigerators there. But you can bring any of them that come, uh, you know, that meet our, spec our, our, our regulations. Did you yes. have a thought? Uh, there are no common uh, refrigerators. They need to bring their own if they want. Yes. Okay, yeah, so Kent says, I believe go ahead. that's the same with the microwave? Yes. Yes. Okay. No common refrigerators. Now, I think um, there might be some in the common area area of here, or no? There is a refrigerator in the kitchen. Okay, yes. in the kitchen area, oh, there's a refrigerator. refrigerator. But you want to keep your food safe. And yeah, it's kind of public. Drinks and that kind of thing. <laughs> right, okay. Um, Misty asks, can we get another look at the common area? Of course, Misty, <laughs> we can do that. Yes. We'll move out of this the, the bedroom that one person would have into the common area that four different people in this room would share. Um, you know, maybe we'll open up a closet or two, a cabinet or two, and see what's in there if you don't want. You okay. can open up that. And a lot of people actually put their microwave like right here because of the plug. Oh yeah, <laughs> and then share it, yep. Mm -hmm. So some more cabinet space from the common area. Yes, and then uh, cabinet space down here as well. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. And drawer space. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people would also either put the fridge or trash can here if right. they wanted to share it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Markayla asks, to lift the bed just high enough to fit the dresser underneath, do you still have to submit the maintenance request or can you do it by yourself? In the quad, we recommend that everyone submit a, a maintenance request. We don't allow you to kind of build your own lofting. Uh, you really need to use what, what we do. Um, if you want, though, feel free to follow up with us at housing at uark.edu and get you all the details you need that are specific to your situation. Uh, that's housing at uark.edu. Um, let's see, any other questions or we're gonna sign off here. Let's see, we got a little view out there. I guess that's, that's just the, 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 the roof is what that is out there. Okay. All right, well, last, okay, Amy is asking, <laughs> Are all the room sizes the same in the suite? And I, I think the answer is yes to so, that. Yes. Yeah. Um, now I think we do have configurations where it's not all. Is it always four? Is it always a four in one common in one common area? Or the um, configuration? Sometimes it's three and two. Oh, really? Kate can speak to that. Yeah. yeah can. There, there are a few suites that have three bedrooms and a few that have two, but they're very limited. Okay. Yes. And they're most, shown on the floor plans. Yes. Most of them are four. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us on this tour today of the quad. We'll be back at 2 p.m. to talk about campus. To oh, okay. Oh, another question. Uh, well, I'm just making a comment. Um, uh, and uh, we'll, uh, 2 p.m., we'll talk about campus dining and uh, join in there. And you'll join us, right? Yes, I will. I'll be there. Are you going to be hungry? I think so, yes. We did talk about food earlier. I'm pretty hungry. Um, I'll mention that, uh, that our Pinterest board, which is at UARC Housing, so Pinterest, UARC Housing, has a lot of recipes on there of things you can make as well. So thanks a lot. You want to sign us out? So. Yeah, just a wave. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.